Hey guys, Lungy here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm telling you guys my paranormal and ghost experiences. It smells like that. Let's go. Obviously, I'm telling you guys about my paranormal experiences. Obviously, not everyone believes in ghosts. If you don't want to watch this, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to think my stories are real, but I know what I saw. Now, obviously, I had most of these experiences when I was a kid, but I definitely know what I saw. It was quite clear to me. Also, guys, I'm on this every Monday upload schedule. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you want to see more content like this or any type of content, comment down below. Go subscribe to my main channel, Sinead and Angus. We upload all sorts of content on there and we are trying to do some more paranormal content on there as well. Yeah! If you guys want to see me read and react to other people's paranormal and ghost stories, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do that as well. My first story is when I was quite young. This is my first paranormal story ever ever recorded in history. So we used to live in this house, it was like an old ass house, like it had a massive long dark hallway that was very scary and it was very dark. And I remember one night we had family over so I had to sleep in my sister's room so there was room for everyone to sleep, you know, kind of thing. We had one of those stupid air mattresses that goes like this, like who the hell wants to sleep on a lump anyway? I was sleeping on that and I could not for the life of me sleep, I just couldn't get to sleep. So I got up. I walked out of the room, I walked across the big dark hallway to my parents' room and I was like pretty much like, Mum, Dad, I cannot sleep. And they were like, well, there's kind of nothing we can do about that, so, you know, try to go back to sleep. So I was like, walk out of the room and as I'm walking down, I look down the dark hallway and I see a shadow figure. At the end, about six foot three, it was an old man and turned slowly and looked at me. And for some reason, I just felt completely calm. It was the weirdest feeling ever. And then I walk and went back to bed. I felt calm, I think, because it maybe was a family member or something. But it just looked like fog and I know what I saw and I know you guys are going to think it's bullshit. But I don't care. I know what I saw. So my next story, I didn't see anything, but I heard something. So my next one is from my last house that I lived in. My bedroom I always felt creepy vibes from, like you know, it just felt weird. I, I can't explain it. And I always used to hear sounds and stuff, but this one memory of mine just creeped me out. This one night, as soon as I turned my light off, put my head down, I hear my school books slide across my floor. And you know, they were like heavy books and they full on slid. I turn my light on, no one's there. That was the creepiest thing in my life. Creepiest thing, hearing your work scoot across the floor and you turn your light on it. Just imagine that. Also in this same room, there used to be like orbs and stuff when I took photos. I'll try to find a photo of that for you. This last story of mine is the most real and the most creepy and it's just weird. It is just weird. I was going for a walk with my dogs and my sisters and keep in mind, walking down like this path, like this track, and it was like, surrounded by like trees and fences. So you, there was nowhere else to walk but the track basically. Walking and then about 20 meters in front of us, I saw this man walking his dog, like an old man. And I was like, well, I don't know if his dog is aggressive so we should probably put our dogs back on the lead. So I was like, girls, you know, grab the dogs. We'll put them on the lead. And they're like, but, but why? And I was like, oh, because of the old man and his dog. And I look up and no one is there. No one was there. There was no way that he would have been able to walk anywhere else but like towards us. And the girl's like, what old man, what do you mean, what do you mean? And I'm not even kidding, he like looked real. I still can't explain that day, but it happened and it was the weirdest experience of my life. Anyway guys, I know this is a bit of a short video, but if you want to see any more content like this, comment down below. You better subscribe for more creepy content. It's spooky season guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and come back for more. See you guys.